let's start getting into more exciting stuff for you. Within this program, we'll give you a number of key strategies to make finding hyper-profitable products and growing your business a lot simpler. I've broken down our process into some key systems that I'll give you. All you've got to do is learn how they work, implement them, and they'll work for you. I've tested these for years, and I can honestly say that these strategies are proven and will generate income for you and your business. So let's introduce them to you. Here are the key strategies you'll use. Your overall business strategy is something we call the rule of five. This simple mind shift will give you a blueprint to aim for as you grow your business. You'll be amazed at how much income just five products can make you when you follow the research strategies that I'll teach you. Secondly, I'll give you the product strategy. I call this finding a DIRT product. As always, my strategies may seem counterintuitive and go against what most people will tell you. My product system will tell you the types of products that are really successful on Amazon and why. I'll also give you your research strategy, which I call the 4S product process. This is the exact best way to find incredible profitable products that your competition is not even considering right now. Why you ask? Because they don't create rule of five businesses. I'm sure you're beginning to see that my system really is step by step and everything fits together to create something truly amazing. Later in the system, I'll give you your purchasing strategy, which I call the lower MOQ strategy. As well, as you grow, I'll give you your management strategy called smart growth. This is when you get your product into stock and selling. For now, we'll break down the first three so that you can understand what they are before we dive into showing you how to implement them and get your first products into stock and selling. Let's talk about your business strategy. We call this the rule of five. This will blow your mind, I can assure you. You see, so many gurus out there will tell you that you need either hundreds of products selling or you'll need hundreds of units of one product selling to become successful on Amazon. Neither is true. What you do need is at least five products. We want to sell these five products in at least five countries over time, not necessarily from day one. Now we want to sell five units of each product per day, per country, at an average net profit of $5 per unit. Let's say this is all you ever did. Do you know how much net profit before tax that would bring you in per month? $18,750 per month in your pocket, or $225,000 per year. Now remember, this is net profit. This isn't revenue. This is what you can actually take home. The likelihood is that you'd use most of this capital to keep your money machine growing. However, the fact remains that this is the kind of profit figure you can make with a rule of five business. Now, I'm not saying that you must have exactly five products selling exactly five units, etc. This is a framework to show you what's possible when you create multiplication by selling a small number of profitable items in more than one country. The key is to understand the underlying strategy. More products selling a small number of units in more countries. This is very, very different to what everyone else is saying. But believe me, it's infinitely more sustainable and profitable, and it will actually help you create a real lifestyle business. Okay, let's talk about another key mindset that will make you phenomenally profitable, not to mention wealthy over time. Let's talk about doubling every investment you ever make. When we talk about profit, we measure it in one of two ways. And don't worry, I'll give you a spreadsheet to do all of this for you. Firstly, we look at what we call the profit on return of an item. This is the profit of an item expressed as a percentage of the sales price. This figure must be at least 30% of the sales price. In simple terms, if we sell something for $20, we must make back $6 in net profit. This is the profit left over after every expense has been paid out. Next, we have the profit on investment. This must be 100% at all times at least. Again, in simple terms, if we invest $6 to buy something, we must make a profit of at least $6 
once all expenses have been paid, including the cost of originally buying the item. Anything less than this is too little for the relative risk we take on importing our items. If you can make more, that's great, but don't make the mistake many sellers do, which is being too greedy with their margins. The other mistake sellers make is that they don't calculate the actual cost of selling an item. I won't let you make that mistake, as you'll see in the select module of this program. So for every dollar you invest, we want you to at least double it. This is your profit on investment. And for every $10,000 you sell, I want you to make at least $3,000 back before tax. Simple as that. And remember, you'll learn how to calculate all of this with our spreadsheet that I'll give you very soon. Many people ask me the types of products that I sell. I'm sure you're wondering the same thing. So without further ado, here are the types of products that will power your business. I call them D-I-R-T products, which means D equals dull, I equals indefinite, R equals repeating, and T equals tangible. To break things down even further, dull means not trendy, easy to use, every day. Indefinite means not new, established, and will continue to sell. Repeatable means we can scale and we can control supply. Tangible means it's a physical product. We don't sell anything that's digital, including with our product bonuses. Everything is physical. When you're researching, these are some key mental frameworks to keep in your mind as you make key choices and decisions. As you become more advanced, you may try to sell more exciting products, but definitely don't start out this way. Dull is beautiful. All right, now we're going to dive into what we believe is the most important strategy in your Amazon business, your product research strategy. I call this process the 4S product process. Why? Because that's exactly what it is. It's a process that you'll run each and every product you're researching through. That'll help you make certain that the products you've found have the best possible chance of going on to create revenue and profits for your business. These profits are the fuel that will drive your business forward. And this process will be something you'll repeat over and over again for years. Get solid with this and you'll have the ability to jump into Amazon at will and find incredible product opportunities that you will brand and import and sell across the globe. Now, before I talk about each of the four S's, please note that I'm going to dive into each of these steps in massive detail over the coming modules. For now, I just want to introduce you to the overarching strategy so that you're clear on what you're going to do before you dive into those next training modules. As you can see, I start with the search phase, which tells us how viable an item is. Then we'll ask whether it's logical or not to sell that item in the shortlist phase. After that, we'll look at how competitive and profitable the item is in the select phase. And finally, we'll look at how investable the item is in the source phase and finalize the process. We'll log all of this research in a 4S product process spreadsheet that I'll give you um, in the next modules that come. Now look, let's look at each of these in a little more detail so you know what you're going to learn over the coming modules. So in the first phase, or S, is the search phase. In this part of the process, we're going to assess the viability of an item that we find on Amazon. In other words, we're going to ask ourselves whether we can sell an item or not. We'll even give you what I call item specifics to avoid so that you know what items you must avoid selling, as well as telling you the exact categories you should focus on when you're doing your research at all times. At the end of this process, you'll have a big list of viable items that will then put through the second phase, which is, of course, the shortlist phase. In shortlist, we'll take our initial items and ask whether we should sell those items or not. We do this by scoring our products with the 4S product process spreadsheet. You'll use six key criteria. The system will then give you a score of how logical it is to sell an item. It'll also tell you what you shouldn't sell to, which is, of course, as important, if not more important, as these mistakes will cost you money, something we want to avoid as much as we possibly can. Now we'll have a league table of products ranging from most logical to least logical. We'll then grab those items and we'll run them through the select phase. 
There are two parts to this phase. In part one, we'll go through what we call the MAP or the market analysis process. Essentially, we'll look at the market for the type of item you've uncovered in your research. This will help us see how much room there is in the market for us to come in and compete. Once we've determined there's room for us to compete, I'll show you how to find the gap. This process will give you the tools needed to create a world-class product offer that will make sales while you sleep. In the second part of the select phase, we'll identify how profitable the item is by locating a supplier and using our pre-written scripts to communicate with them like a seasoned professional. In the final or source phase, we'll review the investability of the item or items that we've found. We'll look at what type of investor you want to be and help you de-risk yourself as much as possible while finalising your negotiations with your supplier. By the end of this process, you'll have products that will fuel your business and help you create a truly heroic business.